My name is uh, Ram Vishnoi. I'm a pediatric interventional cardiologist. Uh, I perform heart cath procedures in anybody from a tiny a newborn baby to all the way to our adults who are living with congenital heart disease. I grew up in India and my younger sister had a cyanotic heart disease and it went undiagnosed and unfortunately she died when she was 10 or 11 months old and as a five-year-old kid I used to see her turning blue and uh, when I went into medical school then I realized that she had probably one of uh, one type of uh, congenital heart disease. We do a lot of things in the cath lab, cool and exciting stuff uh, for our patients. Our patient population is uh, uh, newborn babies, in particular, I would say in every age group, as, as small as two pounds premature new, newborn baby. On the other hand, I have also done some procedures uh, like AST device closure or transcatheter pulmonary revolver placement procedures in older patients, as old as 72 year old or as big as 350 pounds. We can do a lot in the cath lab these days. Uh, and it's not just about uh, avoiding open heart surgery, but doing safely and effectively with excellent long-term results. Uh, and some procedures are commonly performed procedures we have been doing for decades, uh, and some are rare and relatively new procedures. And as a parent, it can be heartbreaking to hear about having your child heart disease when you are a newborn baby and you are being told that your newborn baby has a life-threatening heart disease. Uh, these procedures, they are routine for us, but it cannot be a routine for a parent. And some are relatively easy procedures like uh, device placement, small device, big devices. And uh, they have these devices, first device was placed in the 1970s and there have been several modifications. Now they are far more sophisticated. Uh, and so that's for atrial septal defect closure, then pet inductors, arteriosis, PDA devices. There are several different types uh, and uh, we do those processes routinely. Then uh, transcatheter pulmonary valve procedure, which has been one of the commonest procedures performed procedures in last 10 or 15 years and uh, the results are equally uh, good actually compared to surgical valve replacement. So there is a huge difference uh, between surgery and cath procedure. Surgery uh, you don't need any incision or you are not going to have any scar and most of the time you go home either next morning or the same day like six hours later. On the other hand if it's an open heart surgery it's going to be way more complicated uh, and you will go to the ICU, you may end up staying there for 5 to 10 nights uh, and you also require post-operative care, support, medical, medical and additional support, those kind of things and you're more likely to have some more prolonged course and complications. Uh, in the cath lab, uh, yes, yeah, it's, an, it's still it's an invasive procedure but it's a minimally invasive procedure. You are less likely to have any complications and your hospital course will be much shorter.